We are looking at the book of Luke chapter 1. What are the lessons we can learn from such wonderful book for the Bible? This is a case of a man called Elimelech. Elimelech means someone, God's servant. Marrying a woman called Naomi. Naomi means a woman of grace. They had two sons. And they are living in Bethlehem. Bethlehem is a home of bread. But there was famine in Bethlehem. Naomi with the husband and the two sons, they left Bethlehem to go and live in Moab. Moab happened to be, as of that time, a city of people that worship idols. Do you imagine somebody living a place where there is abundance of bread just because there was a little problem around. There was famine. And they moved down to uh, The lesson we can learn here is this. Before you take any decision, important decision in your, in your life, concerning your marriage, concerning your relocation, concerning your career, make sure you involve God. Do not be in a haste. Take time and prayer. Try to know the will of God. Try to know the direction God is saying. Do not be deceived by what you see. Do not be deceived by what you hear. What you see and what you hear is not a parameter to measure God's will. This man with the, with the wife left Bethlehem with the two sons. And they lived 10 years in Bethlehem. I mean, in Moab. In that Moab, Elimelech died. The two sons died. So Naomi was left with absolutely nothing. But in the midst of that storm, she took another important decision. And that decision is to return back to Bethlehem. Some of us, because of this storm, we experienced in the past. Some of us, because of situations that we are facing presently, we refuse to take decisions. Let me tell you the truth. If you want to, if you want the Holy Spirit to move through you, you must be flexible. Do not be rigid in decisions. She took decisions that affected her badly and stayed 10 years in a place. And now she learned that that is not God's plan for her. She took another decision to return back. And uh, out of her two daughters-in-law, one called Ruth decided to follow her back to Mar. She discouraged her. She did everything to send Ruth back to their people. And Ruth refused. And hear what Ruth said. He says, Mama, stop discouraging me. I have discovered that you people, your people serve the true God. That God shall be my God. Your people shall be my people. You see discovery. And because of that, two of them left Moab back to Bethlehem. When they came to Bethlehem, people saw Naomi and they were shouting, wow! Naomi is back. A woman of grace is back. And Naomi said, no, do not call me Naomi any longer. Call me Mala. Mala means a woman of solo. Mala means solo. Do not call me Naomi. Because I left here full and I returned back empty. That God has dealt with me. And what is her insinuation? She was trying to tell us that it was God that caused her fishes. Let me tell you through the child of God. God is not the author of all the evil that took place in your life. These are the works of the devil. That is why the Bible says, for 
this very purpose, the Son of God was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. Another thing we can learn from her words is this. Do not allow the situation to determine. She had suffered pains in the past and it has affected her countenance, has affected her mindset. Even when people call her a woman of grace, which is her name, say, no, I am a woman of sorrow. Do not allow the situation you are passing through to determine where you are going. Do not allow the situation to determine the words that comes out from your mouth. Because God is not yet finished with you. Let me tell you the truth. At this point in time, that was where everything about Naomi closed. And the grace that she was carrying was transferred to Ruth. Why? She allowed Solo to overthrow her mindset. That will not be a portion in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray for you now. I want you to lay your hand on your chest and pray with me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I present your children before you and I pray that the every mistake they have made in the past, may there be divine visitation and restoration in the mighty name of Jesus and every attack of the devil in their life. I command the attack to cease. I command of God to begin to burn for a head to toe. Let the fire consume the works of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. I say let the fire of God burn. Say to Paka, say to Karosia, Zingam Bazo, Teresima Marakizia, Parusia Ozete, Kumbaraka Teteroso. Let the fire destroy the works of the devil in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Zubaraka Otega, Zubaraka Sekeresia, in Jesus' precious name. Let's see fire, let's see fire, let's see fire to move ahead. Receive fire to move forward in Jesus' precious name.